Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about transiting Pluto. Transiting Pluto passes through the seventh house. How transiting Pluto behaves in the seventh house depends on the position of the seventh house. This transit may be more prominent in your life if you already have planets in the seventh house or aspects to the owner of the seventh house. But the basics are as follows. When Pluto transits the seventh house we gain deep self-knowledge that comes through relationships with others. Pluto itself suggests that you are likely to come face to face with these deeper and perhaps darker elements of your own personality through close interaction with another person. The very dynamics of your relationships will change. But in order for the transformation itself to take place, it is necessary to get rid of all the hidden tensions in your relationships, whether they are intimate or business. If you don't, you will experience power struggles and control issues in your relationships, and in general with the people in your life. Each transformation of Pluto brings both figurative death and in very severe aspects, actual death. When we talk about this kind of entrance, we are talking about the death of the relationship with the other party. For example, if Marcus. the married life has already been built on Marcus, false Marcus, appearances, the entrance of like Pluto will upset the foundations and radically change your relationship. <sighs> on the other hand, it will become unstoppable, okay, okay, that is, new. it will this be necessary new. to this finally wouldn't... end us after it, it is cleared. This, this experience has to do with indifference in love, or in any relationship between two people. And primarily this happens, because you will become aware of more and more enemies and people who seem to be working against you and contributing to more and more problems in the relationship. Thus, the very entry of Pluto brings the entire existing relationship to questioning and scanning. Every detail is scanned, every move or sentence is rewound. If you are a free soul, you will have intense encounters and encounters within the bounds of the transcendent. The people who should appear in your life at this time will have a profound influence on you, whether for better or for worse. Any such meeting can now lead to marriage or cause a definite change in your life, because you are now really looking for someone who will help you change your life. But what is important is that you should not keep anyone in your life who treats you badly, purely for the sake of learning a lesson. The lesson should be to stand up for yourself and run away from such people. To understand the full story of Pluto's seventh house transformation, we need to know that the transit itself is extremely positive. The negative effects of this transit can only be experienced by people with the ascendant in Cancer or Scorpio. In these cases, the transformation will either not occur at all, or it will completely damage relationships to the point of losing control over one's own life. Quite simply, you will be attracted to people who are intense, jealous, possessive, or obsessive, or those who you perceive to be simply powerful in your view. Such a relationship, marriage, or business partnership that begins with the beginning of this cycle is likely to have a certain hidden agenda, which itself shows signs that you are not aware of the situation you are in. Power struggles in close personal relationships become a theme in your life, and this can take place in different ways. Conflict of power and control, people who consciously work against your interests and bring problems in relationships. Facing fears while simultaneously fearing and wanting complete absorption in a close one-on-one -on -one relationship. Either way, this is no reason to withhold a relationship or go into total isolation, as these will go a long way in clearing worn-out patterns that have to do with relationship dynamics. The people you will meet in the course of these 21 years on average, and who strongly influence you, are actually just mirrors of your inner psychic impulses. As we have already stated in existing relationships, an internal crisis or a possible end of the relationship can also very easily follow the resurrection of the relationship, that is, a different, new way that satisfies both parties now. Cooperation appears, based on clearly defined common goals. You become the catalyst for others to discover their more primal instincts and fears. Therefore, you should not blame the other because these are actually your subtle and unconscious messages that you send to yourself in order to finally recognize and receive love and understanding. People who come into your life, who seem to work against you, show you something you don't want to see about yourself or teach you something you need to learn. So be prepared, the transformation is big and the outcomes quite shocking and life-changing.
Try to learn as much as you can about yourself, including your deepest desires and fears, through your relationships at this point in your life. If you have any lawsuits or litigation during Pluto's visit to the seventh house, when Pluto is in a bad position, get ready to fight with people in high positions. A fight that is very difficult for you to get out positively for you. In the course of litigation, you will notice hiding of evidence, difficult control of the case and relationship problems. But don't worry, these are only severe and specially mentioned cases, in most cases you will benefit from Pluto's transit. Starting with the discovery of the people behind the scenes and down to the very details and little things that are important for your case. Either way, aim to discover your own power through your relationships, even though it's not the easiest or most comfortable process.